don't check. I, I have better things to do in my life. That would... All right. Trapezoid. A trapezoid has four... Four sides, okay? A trapezoid has four sides, but they're not... All the sides are not equal, so that's what makes it a trapezoid. They're not equal. Like on a rectangle, the top and bottom are equal, and the sides are equal. In a trapezoid, they're, they're not always equal. It is a quadrilateral because it's four sides, very good. But it's, they don't have parallel lines. Like these two lines, if I draw them, if I extend them, they will cross. In a rectangle, like up here, here's a rectangle, the lines will never cross, right? The lines will never cross in a rectangle. In a trapezoid, the lines will cross. So that's what makes it also a trapezoid instead of a rectangle, okay? So, but for the perimeter, gosh, I wonder what word we're going to use. Distance. Distance. C and then E. C and then E. The distance around the shape. All right. Now we're going to write down the formula. And it's going to look hard. It's going to look complicated. And it's going to look like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. But you will do this. It's not that. It looks hard. Definitely looks hard. Okay, we're going to start off with parentheses. And then we're going to have a base 1. And we write a little tiny 1. It's the opposite of an exponent. Let's make sure our iPads are not distracting us or the floor is not distracting us. So base 1 plus base 2, just like the opposite of an exponent. Close up your parentheses. Then you're going to multiply by your height. Does anybody know what parentheses makes us do? Yeah, do that first, right? So this parentheses is telling us, hey, you got to do this first. You got to add these two numbers first, and then multiply by your height. Add the whole column in parentheses. Then you do everything that's inside the parentheses. Yeah, you do from left to right. We'll go over that in seventh grade. Divide it by two. So very similar to the triangle in which we're going to divide by two. Okay, um, but you're going to be adding before you multiply. So that's something new. It does look hard. I did tell you it looks hard. But when you start doing the math, the math it really ends up being pretty easy. A little light work. We got to pay attention. In math, you can easily get lost if you go into like la la land. So try not to go into la la land. Try to focus. Try to focus. All right. So this 12 is base 1. And this 8 up here is base 2. And the 4 is your height. Remember, you're like your heights are inside sometimes. So let me zoom it in so you see it. So the 12 is called the base 1, and the 8 is called base 2. So both of these can be your bases, but they're not the same length. So we have a base 1 and base 2. Honestly, you can switch these around. You can call the top one base 1, the bottom one base 2. That doesn't matter. What 100% matters is what you call the height. This one has to be your height. Your vertical one has to be your height. Nice and straight, right? The doctor says stand up straight. That would be your height. All right. So now let's plug in our numbers. Area is equal to, OK, what number represents my base 1? 12 plus, which number represents my base 2? 8 times, what's my height? Oh my god. 4. <laughs> hey, we're recording, we're recording. You can't tell me you're turning because of this. Are you turning because of this? No, right? It's something else, right? Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god. All right, let's just stop the lesson. No, I can't, I can't. Give me one. Dude, relax. I'm emotional right now because it just brought me donuts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is like the second nicest thing someone's ever given to me. Yeah, Sharon is caring. Huh? No, it's not. <laughs> Except if you're bringing me donuts, then it's cool. But me sharing donuts, not cool. What? There's a difference. You see, but there's not enough for the whole class. So we can't, you know. You I would only give it. I would only. I would, I would only be able to share with my favorite students. 
Huh? All right. <laughs> I'm so shocked. I so want to, but I can't. Okay. So your height is is four. <laughs> I'm shocked. No. One. I can't eat. Oh, can you imagine like, like chocolate all over my face and sugar? And that would be torture for you guys watching me eat donuts. I really wouldn't though. Wouldn't? Okay. Oh, boys. All right. So, focus, focus, focus. This video is going to get a lot of views. Eight plus. <laughs> so, we're going to do what's inside the parentheses first. So, we're going to do the eight, 12 plus eight gives you 20 times the four divided by two. So, write that down. If you need to, like, go into your notebook because you're running out of space, go into your notebook, right? It's glued in there, but hopefully you still have some like margin to do this <laughs> um, and then we're gonna do 20 times 4 so you have four $20 bills for for your uh, for your birthday you got four $20 bills how much money do you have Wow. you have 80 but your mom's like oh give me half so divide by 2 so what's 80 divided by 2 40 so our area is equal to 40 Centimeters square. Because <laughs> she has supported you for your whole life. She changed your diapers when you were young. She did. She did? Your mom? I'm assuming so. I don't know. All right. We copy that down? Yeah. All right. All right, we're going to, obviously we're going to do some example problems because this is like really different. Um, I don't expect you to memorize how to do this like in the next 30 seconds. I expect you to know how to do this in the next 40 seconds. I think it's fair. All right, so we're going to put today's date, 8 Fresh. I can't wait. I can't wait. Area of a trapezoid. Should, but I can't. Why not? It's your education. You stopping you this You should show the YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, you see like crumbs falling on the video. <laughs> did you just show them your donuts? So I did. I did show them. Get, then you'll get some of I get sponsored by donuts. Oh, yes. All right. Stop distracting me. I'm trying to teach the future here. You are the future. All right. So draw a straight line across, right? And then you're going to draw another straight line at the bottom, but make it longer. But make it longer. This is a trapezoid, where the bottom or the top line is bigger than the other line. Okay? So two lines, they're straight. One's longer than the other. One's longer than the other. And then we're going to close it up and close it up. So it has four sides, one, two, three, four but they don't have the same measurement like a rectangle or a square would have. This is called your base one, and this is called your base two, and inside, or sometimes outside, will be your height. So your base one, base two, and then your height is inside. All right? Um, sometimes you'll have, so to me this looks like the Pizza Hut logo. If you've ever seen the Pizza Hut logo, like a hut, right? Like a rooftop. That would be a trapezoid. Sometimes your trapezoid look like this. Sometimes your trapezoid look like this, where you have your 90 degrees in here and then this becomes your height because it forms 90 degrees, but you still have your two bases, base one and base two. So sometimes your trapezoids look like a rooftop and sometimes they look like a, a ramp for like a skate park. Huh? What? Yes. D did we not learn that like the second day of school? If I write, you write. Look, I remember we did the happy face and we draw the happy face. 
And I told you you have to draw a happy face? No. Oh. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm gonna draw a donut, and you have to draw a donut with sprinkles. Yeah, so that's about right. It's about right. Yeah, but that's not schoolwork, so. Yeah. I have to wait. I have to wait 20 more minutes. Well, we should have a door in the shape of a hexagon. No. I thought it was cursed. There's no such thing as a cursed donut. All right. So. Area is equal to parentheses base 1 plus base 2 times your height all divided by 2. You will not be using this for your homework tonight. You'll be using it next week, but not tonight. So I don't want to see you using this on the triangle or the parallelogram. All right, so just fair warning, do not use this for your homework tonight. It will be on your homework next week. Because then I have kids using this for a triangle, which is upsetting. It's upsetting. It's, it's, yeah, no way. All right, so we're going to draw a trapezoid just like so. All right, so we're going to say four feet on the top, eight feet at the bottom, and then inside we're going to have five feet. All right, a lot of drawing today, a lot of geometry. Okay, so the first step, you have, first step you have to do is you have to plug in the numbers. So here's our formula, right? We have to plug in or substitute the B1 with the number, and the B2 with a different number, and your height with a completely different number. So area is equal to parentheses. What is your base 1? 8. So we're going to plug in 8, because this right here, is your B1 plus what's your B2? Four. Four. So this is your B2. Then we're going to close the parentheses. So this is your B1. You plug it in. This is your B2. You plug it in. Times your height, which is five, five right? That's your height. So we're going to put it outside the parentheses. And then what do I do with all of this? Divide. Divide by two. Now it's very important that the eight and the four are inside the parentheses and the five is outside. You could write four plus eight, that's okay. Four plus eight is okay, but you can't put the five inside. Like that's a, that is a no-no. All right, so now we do the math. What's eight plus four? 12 times five divided by two. Did I teach you the shortcut already? No? Okay. All right. What is 12 times five? What is 12 times five? Look it up. 60. Oh, you said 12 times five, but I said two times five. Yeah, 12 times five, and then I'm gonna take 60 and divide it by two. Now we get 30. So our area is equal to 30 feet squared. Now, it does seem like a lot of work, right? And it does seem like, what is just happening? It's a normal sense for you to feel that way. But we're going to be doing a couple more problems, and you're going to realize, oh, okay, the math is not very hard. Um, we're adding and then we're multiplying. Now, if you need a multiplication table, dude, have it out, have it ready, right? We don't want you to struggle with multiplying. All right, let's do another one. So can you draw me another trapezoid? Yay, we're drawing, yay. Woo! These are so negative. We're gonna make the top six inches, the bottom 10 inches. And then, okay, we're writing this down. We're not distracting people. Not distracting people. So when I look up, I should see you all writing, right? Because you're like 10 seconds behind me. Your six looks like a bee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
I see it. I do see it. That's a four, that's a six, and that's a ten. Don't judge my writing. All right, so the formula is, do I expect you to have the formula memorized? No. Oh, okay. What goes inside? Does anybody know without looking? What do I do with those two? Put them inside. Add them. Add them. Add them. Base one plus base two. What goes outside? Height. Height. And then we're all going to divide it by two. Two. All right. Now, can you plug in your numbers? Plug in your numbers. What two numbers go inside? Ten and six. Ten and six. Does it matter the order? No. Nope. So we're going to plug in the number 10 and 6. And what number goes outside? The 4. The 4. Okay? Because the 4 is your height, this is equal to your height, this is equal to your base 1, and that's equal to your base 2. So if you put them in the wrong spot, uh, it could go horribly, horribly wrong. So make sure you take your time to plug them into the right spot. And don't forget to divide by 2. All right, what's 10 plus 6? 16 times 4 divided by 2. All right, this is where it gets a little complicated. Let's look at our multiplication table. What's 16 times 4? 64 divided by 2. 32. Now you're like sitting there going like, how in the world did they get 32? Well, you can take it in the division box like so. And this is why we give you these on your homework so you can practice them. Um, so I'm gonna take two and divide it. How many times does two go into six? Three times. Three times, Three times two, six, zero. Bring down the four. Two goes into four how many times? two times, two times two is four, and we end up with zero, and that's what we want, right? So this is long division, we're gonna need long division in seventh grade. Area is equal to 32 inches Square. squared. Are we okay? A little bit better than a minute ago, five minutes ago maybe, hopefully. All right, there is a shortcut. Focus, focus, focus. Um, there is a shortcut to this. Now, shortcuts in math are awesome because it actually makes the math easier. You get to solve problems faster. Do, do shortcuts always work? No, but when they do, it's awesome. Does every student understand a shortcut? No, but if you understand it, you're gonna realize the math is gonna be so much easier. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this part. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this part. I'm gonna rewrite it and I'm gonna call it a shortcut. Shortcut. So I'm gonna do 16 times four divided by two. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna do a shortcut. I already know the answer. What's our answer? 32, right? So we're not worried about like, oh my gosh, what's the answer? We already know the answer. What you're trying to learn right now is a shortcut to make your, fast, to make your math easier and faster. Okay, before you multiply, Look at both of these numbers and pick one of them to divide by 2. 16. I would divide the 16 because 16 is pretty big, right? So let's make it smaller. So I'm going to take this part and divide it by 2. What's 16 divided by 2? Eight. Eight so 8 times 4. I no longer have to do 16 times 4 and divide it by 2. All I have to do is go 8 times 4. And what's my answer? and you're done. Did I have to go all the way to 64 and then divide by two and maybe make mistakes? No. So this is your shortcut. Before you multiply, you go, huh, can I make one of these numbers smaller? Yeah, that one. And then you are able to finish so much faster. Are we okay? Okay. What time is it? 18? Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Yay, it's pronounced yay. Okay, I say one more and you go yay. You're mispronouncing it. It's fine. We'll learn. These kids. 
don't know how to pronounce the word yay. It's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's hard, yeah. Yeah, I perfected it. Yay. Yay. With a slight, slight sarcasm in it. All right. So here it is. It's five. It's three. It's nine. I'm going to challenge you. Can you plug in the numbers before I do? Just do that. Just plug in your numbers. Don't do any math. Just plug in your numbers. Can you plug them in before I do? Yes, Miss Amelia, of course. Oh, good. Yay. So easy. I did it in my head too, but I have the show work and you have the show work too. Area equals. So plug in your numbers. Plug in your numbers first. Plug in your numbers first. Can you plug them in before I do? Plug in your numbers. Because we remember, Miss O'Malley loves to grade the work. All right, so which two numbers go inside the parentheses? Nine and five. Nine and five. And what number goes outside? Three. Three. So if you were able to plug in your numbers before me, awesome. Good. Yay. Woo. All right, let's do it. What's nine plus five? Fourteen times three divided by two. Now, you could, right now, look at your multiplication table, do fourteen times three, or... Yes? Or you could just divide 14 into... Yeah. Let's do the shortcut. Let's practice the shortcut. So I'm going to write shortcut so you know that we did the shortcut. The shortcut goes, okay, take one of these numbers and divide it by 2. Now, do I want to take 3 and divide it by 2? No. No. You're going to get a decimal. We're trying to make this easier, not harder. What, what if they're both 9? Oh, then I would just do the regular, you know... Two, like if it's three and three, just three times three divided by nine. Yeah. If it if it's like oh it's not worth the shortcut, then don't do it. Do it the old way. Just go straight across. Here's a shortcut. I'm gonna circle this. What's fourteen divided by two? Seven, Seven times three. Okay. So our answer is twenty one centimeters squared, and we're done. We don't have to do fourteen times three and like use our multiplication table, and then that's gonna give you a big number, and then divide that by two which may lead to mistakes. So the shortcut also helps you lessen the amount of mistakes you could make. Fun times, huh, kids? Yay, trapezoid. We'll practice more trapezoids tomorrow for sure. All right, let's look at this worksheet. We won't have time to start it, I mean to finish it, but we definitely have 10 minutes to work on it. Um, can you have your notes open 100%? Can you follow along with your notes to remind yourself how to do this? Yes, that's why we take so much time in the class to write down notes. I'm gonna write the formula on the top of my paper. Area is equal to parentheses, base one plus base two all, oh, times height, don't forget the times height, divided by two, okay? Um, so looking at number one, what's your base one? What is it? Four sure. What's your base two? Eight sure. What's your height? Six. That's the important one. You have to identify your height. You can't mess up. You can't like switch it around. Your height is your height. No other number can be your height. The base one and base two, those can be swapped, right? You can call the bottom base two, the top base one. Those can be swapped, but the height, uh-uh. The height's the height. All right, so let's plug in the numbers. So we're gonna use our formula to plug in our numbers. So what goes inside the parentheses? Four and eight. Four and eight. And what am I gonna do with four and eight? I'm going to add them. So we're gonna plug in four and eight, and then the number outside is six, all divided by two. Yes, I have to see this work. Yes, I have to see that you plugged in the numbers correctly. Because if I see you putting the six inside, I know how to help you. Be like, okay, look, you can't put the six inside. I don't know what to tell you. Four plus eight. Twelve. Twelve. So this gives you twelve times six divided by two. 
Now you can do two ways. You can do the shortcut or you can do it the long way. I would do the shortcut, definitely, but let's pretend you don't know how to do the shortcut. If you don't know how to do the shortcut, you gotta do 12 times six. And that gives you 72 divided by two. And you're like, oh man, 72, it's not on my multiplication table. That just, this just gets harder. So you have to take the 72 and, and the two outside. And you gotta do some long division. But if you did the shortcut, you would already be done with this problem. Two goes into seven three times. Three times two is six. Remainder one, bring down the two. Now you have a 12. Two goes into 12 six times. Six times two is 12, remainder zero. So my answer is 36 inches squared. Definitely looks like a lot of work, right? Mm -hmm. The But the process, the math itself, isn't super hard. Because you're, you're adding, and then you're multiplying, which you can use your multiplication table, and then you're dividing by two. And dividing by two shouldn't be super complicated for any of us. All right, number two, can you plug them in before I do? So plug, your job is to plug it. Now at this point, if you're like Miss Amelia, I'm good, I'm, can I go ahead? Yes. If you are able to be on number four by now, go, F fly, go, be free. But if you're with me right now, you're plugging in these numbers before me. Don't work, don't wait for me to plug them in. Your job is to plug in these numbers. You can look at your notes, but don't just wait for me. That's a bad sign. If you're waiting for me to plug in numbers, that's a bad sign. Yeah. Because you should be able to plug in numbers. All right, what two numbers goes in, go inside? Nine and six. And what number goes outside? Four. So if you can do that before me, awesome. Good. Now, now we're doing math. Okay. Nine plus six. 15 times four divided by two. If you wanna use a shortcut, use a shortcut. Which number would I divide by two, the 15 or the four? Four. four. The four, right? You can't divide the 15. Yeah, yeah, we don't want that. That defeats the purpose. If you can't do the shortcut, oh, sad. 15 times four is 60, right? That gives you 60. Then we're gonna divide by two. All right, you have $60. Give me half. 30. Thank you. This gives you 30 feet squared. I'm going to leave it that there because I like how I did my steps right there. Of course, if you do the shortcut, even better. If you do the shortcut, it's even better. All right. Let's see what time is it. Nope. You have five minutes. So how many? Let's do two problems. Go. Come on. Two problems, let's go. Two problems, let's go. Mm -hmm. 